Uh, my name is uh, Victor Chirkin and I want to tell a story today about how I started making cheese just a few years ago. It all started uh, back in 2012 when traveling through Europe and Switzerland in particular I got really fascinated with uh, their cheese culture and even though I haven't traveled famous dairies or other cheese making places uh, like Gruyere it still really uh, got me enticed and after coming back home from that trip and by the way I'm from Ukraine and that is uh, Eastern Europe from time to time I started buying cheeses imported from Europe and uh, I got my taste developed towards them and started really liking them back in 2012 when I traveled I remember I remember coming back home and giving my parents a you know taste of cheese that I brought back with me uh, and we compared that with the cheese that my mom made uh, because just two years prior to that in 2010 my parents from, moved from a larger city to small uh, countryside they uh, got some goats and started making cheese and it wasn't anything fancy we didn't know too many uh, techniques or recipes and we we're just making basic you know kind of farm style cheese but it turned out pretty good and in 2014 uh, I kind of changed my life quite drastically when we moved from the city to this place and we started living in that house that you see there uh, which my parents built uh, and it is a straw bale house and when we moved we really wanted to do some kind of homesteading we didn't know exactly whether it's going to be more of a gardening or working with animals or poultry in 2015, about a year after we moved, we thought like, why should we be looking into something that we haven't had any experience in? Uh, while my parents already did like four or five years of uh, goat keeping, making some cheese and also making some sourdough bread. And it started off with that. My parents were already selling some uh, sourdough bread and some uh, cheese to people who uh, lived in the area. And I decided, you know, why not uh, try to expand on that and try my hand at it. So. I started with a sourdough and I learned it quite quick and it didn't seem that hard to me uh, and I mostly was working with the whole wheat sourdough breads and at the same time as my mom was uh, making you know some soft uh, cheeses just basic curd cheeses with goat milk uh, I got really interested like how did they make cheese back before it was all industrialized how did they you know come up with all, all of those different types of cheese and tastes uh, since they didn't have all of those uh, you know cultures uh, that you have to buy now right uh, they didn't have all those laboratories who were developing them and I got on a journey of figuring out how it used to be and I found this book The Art of Natural Cheese Making by David Asher he's a Canadian cheesemaker, homesteader and basically what he did he traveled and learned uh, those traditions and, uh, and compiled all of them into one book and it seemed like coincident but it wasn't that only about half a year prior to my interest in it this book was published and once I found it I downloaded it and read through it in a few sittings and started making cheese and it happened in January of 2016 which is barely two and a half years ago and since that time I was making cheese uh, you know regularly and uh, got to the point of making it almost every day last year and as of right now we keep about 15 dairy goats and we also buy some cow milk from our friends and in total we process about five to seven hundred liters of milk weekly uh, making a few few kinds of cheese uh, some uh, yogurts desserts and uh, also make some sourdough bread and we sell it and that's how we make our living. So this is my small story and I want this to be like a start to a series of videos uh, where I, I want to share my experience, what I've learned in these years and the show that making cheese at home is much easier than you thought it could be. You don't have to have any special equipment to buy any special you know cultures and stuff like that but basically working with a good quality preferably raw milk you can make some amazing variety of cheeses uh, and uh, you know if laws allow, you probably could even make a living out of it. So I hope you will enjoy this journey and I will try to post a, a video a week sharing my experiences. Uh, and uh, if you guys have any questions, please uh, comment. Uh, if you like this video, leave a thumbs up. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, there's gonna be a lot of good stuff coming your way. Thank you so much for your attention. See you later, bye.